Hello fellow YouTubers, this is the erroneous one with another Kingdom Hearts Unchained X video. Uh, today we're going to tackle the newest uh, quest boss, which is I think quest 425, it's Master Ava. Uh, this is a hard one for quite a few people, you have to beat her within three turns, and she has a lot of HP. This has been a uh, pretty big problem boss for a few people, and I've had some people uh, in my party, and a few friends ask me how I beat it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that right now for all of you guys. Uh, first off, I'll show you my setup, what I'm using to take her on. Uh, we're using the Olympia Keyblade once again, mainly because it gives really good stats uh, towards the end, in particular for the Riku as my anchor with a 2.0 damage boost, and then my Black Coat King Mickey with a 2.6 damage increase. Uh, I have uh, Namine here. She is almost fully guilted at 82%, not too bad. Uh, to copy all of her uh, Master Ava's status effects because Master Ava does have a lot of status effects that uh, buff her up with attack and with defense. So we will copy those with our nominee. I have Alice here only at a 5 star. I haven't felt the need to actually put her up to 6 stars and then waste 6 SIDs to you know fit her into the cost spot for Keyblade. But uh, she's going to remove uh, Master Ava's status effects. We're going to have the Rax Metal again for the, at this point in time, mainly it's just for the free cost gauge and the uh, strength increase. Although usually we're not going to need it because whenever we copy Master Ava's status buffs, it's going to give you uh, three up automatically. Our heaviest hitter here is going to be our uh, Black Coat King Mickey. He is fully maxed out, fully guilted with an attack boost two on him. So he will be our main damage dealer. And then anchoring up there, we're going to have our KH2 Riku. Again, fully guilted, fully maxed out, and ready to roll with attack boost 2. So that's my setup. This setup, um, I can't take credit for. Uh, there is an awesome guy on YouTube as well named Jonathan Snow. I'll have his link to his YouTube page in my description. Uh, he gave me the idea for this particular setup for the Keyblade. Um, prior to this, I actually used my uh, speed Base Keyblade. I used my uh, Lady Luck Keyblade. A little different setup from here. It had different metals. Um, still had a nominee on there, um, I still had Alice on there, but I didn't have King Mickey on there, which was really the main booster. I had, uh, I moved to Riku with the Sora there to give him the, uh, increased damage buff, and I had, uh, my Sephiroth there. Um, I did manage to beat it, um, with all quest objectives met, but it took a lot longer, and I had to have everything proc in order for it to work out. So it took me about, I think, five or six attempts, um, with that previous setup. Uh, to utilize it and actually beat it. This setup is a lot easier, a lot more manageable for most people. Um, so all credit goes to Jonathan for uh, showing me this and now I'm sharing it with you. So with that said, let's jump right in. Alright, story. And here she is, Master Ava, level 120. Uh, defeat target enemy within three turns. Defeat target enemy within three turns and complete without having to continue. If you beat her within the three turns from the banner, then you did get the uh, banner unchained, which I will sh I guess show you guys right here real quick. And it's not going to show up there. Here we go. Titles. So that's my banner on mine. The unchained one uh, does is earned from this one. Which is actually a pretty cool banner. I like it quite a bit. So that's why I kept it. Had that cool little chain thing on there. Which I find to be most aesthetically pleasing so far. But here we go. Maxed out. And let's see. I am going to borrow my teammate Reix's Sephiroth. It's a pretty good one. Uh, everything is maxed out on it. So, you know, he's a pretty heavy hitter for as uh, an anchor for the team. Uh, especially being non-buffered by any uh, metal buffs. We're going to start it. I'm going to skip the story so you guys aren't spoiled for anybody who hasn't beat it yet. There is going to be a chest here in the back which is going to have uh, six SP gauges worth uh, to just gain if you need it for any reason. Every now and then in your planet, a uh, lucky egg will appear back here so you can get an extra item. Alright, so it's a plus two attack on her items right now, so we're going to go ahead and copy that. Now we're going to remove it. She does not need that. She deals enough damage on her own without that. 1700 per hit, so six times. Does respect amount of damage uh, for that metal. There's King Mickey. 
No proc, sadly, but still takes two health bars off of her in one go. Riku, are you gonna proc? Nope. Usually if Riku procs with the buffs on them, he will hit for about between 10k and 11k damage, which is really insane on that one. And then there is Sephiroth. Let's see what he's gonna do. So, almost 3k, not too bad. 28k on that one, pretty good. So here's the next round. She now has a defense increase on there, so I'm gonna save a bit of SP. I'm not gonna use all of my uh, medals there. Gonna take it, gonna remove it from her. Give myself a stats piece because it's a zero cost. So there's no reason not to use that. Fire off a of King Mickey one more time. No proc again. Sad. And then I will just tap twice. There we go. So see, she hits hard. I mean, already flat out one hit there with her times three, even with the defense boost on there. And I'm only at 966 health points left. So once again, we're going to take it. Going to remove it from her. 1987 this time. Is it an increase? You gonna proc this time? Nope, no proc from Mickey, which is really sad. How about you, Riku? You gonna proc for me this time? Again, no, I got really unlucky at the proc this time. Kinda sad. But there you go. That is uh, Master Ava defeated right there. Pretty simple um, with that setup. Uh, made life a lot easier for me. There we go. Yep, Foreteller's Mind. So the main anchor in that one is indeed going to be King Mickey. Um, he deals insane damage. Uh, I would go so far as to say that he is, uh, right now, the best metal in the game. Um, especially once you get him buffed. He, I mean, easily can deal between 50 and 60k damage uh, if he procs for me right now. Uh, once a whole I get a attack boost max, I'm definitely going to put it on uh, Black Coat King Mickey as soon as possible. Since right now I have him on my... Uh, Fully guilted uh, Hercules since he deals also really good damage. But that's it. If you guys have any questions or any other ideas, uh, please be sure. Leave me a comment or two. Let me know if you guys like the video or what I can do to change it for you guys. And definitely go check out Jonathan Snow's uh, page. He deals uh, insane tips for this game. Always uh, helpful. Funny guy to watch too. Really enjoyable. And if you are interested in any of the other games, uh, the WWE wrestling game, the Dragon Ball Z Doku game. I also think he does the uh, Naruto uh, mobile game as well. He does videos for those. Again, helpful guy. Great to watch. Peace.